Scatter Signal is the brand new Strand Fusion Rifle released with Season of the Wish and is drawing lots of attention because it's the first rapid fire fusion in the game to roll with Controlled Burst. For those who are unaware, Controlled Burst is a 20% damage buff that requires little to no effort to use, hence why it's so exciting to finally have it on a rapid fire fusion. On top of this, Scatter Signal is also craftable with it having access to Enhanced Overflow in the left column, which when considering the rest of the perks in said column, it's pretty much a no-brainer choice. Today we're going to go over some in-depth testing I carried out to see how Scatter Signal weighs up versus versus more established DPS fusion rifles like the Aramite and Cartesian Coordinate. In a previous video of mine, I advocated the use of high impact fusions over rapid fires since at the time they were the only archetype that could roll with controlled burst, giving them a huge bonus in total damage and a small loss in DPS compared to rapid fires. But now that scatter signal exists, I believe it's time to reevaluate. My testing methodology for this video is as follows. All testing was done on the Templar using DDT to accurately measure health bar damage, where DPS was calculated using the 10 second no teleport window with overflow procced and total damage done by emptying my entire reserves using triple reserve mods. I was also standing in a Lunar Faction Well of Radiance with boss spec equipped and carried out three tests for each category in order to yield an average. The results are as follows. Scatter Signal comes out at a DPS of 55,000 with a nice total damage of about 1.1 million. Comparing this to my old numbers for Cartesian Coordinate, the total damage is basically the same but the DPS is around 14% greater than Cartesian Coordinate and 30% greater than the Aramite. This pretty much makes Scatter Signal the numerical best rapid fire fusion in the game and could be be enough evidence for it to overshadow high impact fusions. However, let's talk about the elephant in the room for a second. It's a strand weapon, which means that in a DPS context, the options to pair with it are severely limited. The reason that weapons like the Aramite and Cartesian Coordinate are so popular is because they are solar burn and pair very nicely with Apex Predator and now Dragon's Breath. As for strand rockets, you have Crowning Geologue, which is total rubbish, or the more respectable Semiotician, which came out during Season of the Wish. Though unfortunately, it's a high impact frame, so it does 10% less damage by default, and the perks aren't too desirable compared to Apex Predator. The one weapon Scatter Signal does pair nicely with is none other than the Cataphract GL3 from Trials of Osiris. Instantly, I'm sure many of you heard that and scoffed in disgust, though if you're part of the lucky few who have the god roll, not me, of Spike Grenades, Envious Assassin and Bait and Switch, things start to get interesting. Taking this setup to Greg with Well and Surges, we managed to deal 2.1 million damage in the allotted 30 seconds, which is actually pretty good, considering that with a Wolfpack with a Horde rotation, you're hitting about 2.5 million and with a Dragon's Breath setup around 2.3 million. Further more, as mentioned in my other video, fusion rifles are a great tool to pair with tractor cannon and scatter signal is no exception. In fact, here's me hitting 2.5 million on Nezarek with it while using an optimal tractor setup. In conclusion, if you were on the fence about using high impact fusions, don't sweat it, because if you're looking for a fusion rifle for DPS purposes, Scatter Signal is now the clear winner with it having on average about 30% higher DPS. On the flip side, high impacts are still the kings of total damage, so if you're running something like a solo dungeon, I'd stick to them for now. Additionally, the days of wishing for a lucky drop of Nox Perennial are now behind us, since Scatter Signal has completely power crept it out of relevancy. Scatter Signal is now also an S tier option to use if you're on tractor duty, and can we just talk about how clean the weapon itself looks? Like damn. It's pretty sexy. The only drawback to the weapon is that it unfortunately doesn't surge match to a large amount of the main meta heavy weapons, but I'm sure we'll one day see Bungie release a controlled burst rapid fire in the energy slot, so it's only a matter of time. So to answer the title of the video, yes, Scatter Signal is worth the hype. Anyway, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, dear viewer.